has become flesh Shakes the religious world Upsets the religious order And stirs up the souls of all Who long for God's appearance Who does not marvel at this Who does not long to see God God has spent years among men Day 
days God's work is new He's sovereign in the universe He's the mainstay in every heart And He lives and breathes among men Only then can He bring new life And lead men into the way of life God comes to earth to live among men So men may gain life and exist God commands the universe To serve His management work Not just in heaven or man's heart God is living in this world Denial of this truth will bring you Neither the way of truth nor life If you want to get life eternal Find the source of where God Brothers and sisters, Happy New Year to you! Happy New Year! <laughs> Hallelujah! Thanks be to God! Today we suffer for God, but tomorrow we enter the Kingdom of Heaven and gain God's blessings! <laughs> Pardon? You ask for my name? I am Wei De Fu, and I'm 65 years old! I've believed in God since I was very young! And I've suffered a lot as I've spread the gospel from north to south. I was arrested by the police, tortured, had ribs broken. I was sentenced to five years, but I never betrayed God. I was given the nickname Super Paul. <laughs> Pardon? What am I doing for New Year's? Well, Sister Fung has been absent from our last two meetings. More likely than not, it's because of spiritual weakness. So my wife and I are going to her house to offer support. Hey, where is she? Honey, come here. Coming, coming! Yup, the fifth day of the new year, and he wants to drag me out to serve God with him. He says that this is saving up merit for us, which will earn us blessings. Hey! Super Paul! Super Paul! Knock it off. Don't shout that. Don't call me Super Paul in front of everyone. It's embarrassing to be called that. <laughs> oh, stop being dramatic. Say, husband darling, what if I were to stay home today? <sighs> What's the matter now? Since I began to believe in God, I've been receiving our brothers and sisters. Mm. I've never tried to support our brothers and sisters. So what would I even say to her? I see. That's not something you need to worry about. Oh? If a believer is feeling down, then we can go sing a hymn. Hey, I can do that. If a believer is lacking faith, then we can testify how God cures disease. I can do that. If a believer fears suffering, ah. then we can testify that doing work earns blessings. That I can do. We have to make believers become very strong in spirit. Ah. <laughs> So we'll tell about how the kingdom of heaven is paved with gold. Ah. <laughs> hey, but darling, what if the believer has spiritual thirst? Oh boy, don't worry about it. Mm. Well, isn't Sister Fung your old classmate? Mm -hmm. Then you're already friends. I'll talk with her. You help me. 
And if we both work together, I promise we'll be able to support her. Hey, that sounds about right. Um, honey. Yes? You should know that this will earn you more merit than a whole year of entertaining people at home. Is that really <laughs> true? Yes. Okay, mm. I won't disappoint you. Let's go. Well, here we are. Ding dong. Who's there? It's Super Paul. What? Selling bowl? <laughs> we don't want to buy anything. Thanks. Bye. No, it's me, Wei Da Fu. Oh, it's Elder Wei. Oh, it's you. Come on inside. Bless you. Thank you. What are you doing coming here in such cold weather? Thanks be to God. We heard that you've been absent from the last two meetings with co-workers. So my husband and I thought we should come to check up on you. That also helps us accumulate merit to enter the kingdom of heaven. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> That's not it, Sister Fung. What my wife meant to say was, We brothers and sisters in the Lord should always do our best to love and support each other. It's something we ought to do, and something of which God approves. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> so, Sister Fung, you haven't been to our meetings lately. Are you suffering spiritual weakness? Are you? Oh, not at all. Please come in and sit down. All right. Recently, I went away to hear some preaching, so I missed the meetings. Here, have one. Thanks. Thanks be to God. You've come at the perfect time. I've been worrying about getting into the kingdom of heaven. Oh? You were? Now, if you ask me, in the years we've believed in the Lord, we've worked quite a lot, and we've traveled very far. But we are still unable to practice God's word. And in fact, our words often deceive God against our will. God is holy. Do you think that a sinner like me can ever really enter the kingdom of heaven? Oh my, Sister Fung, you're worried about that? Exactly. Honestly, you still don't understand God's will. Oh. <sighs> Here, read this part for Sister Fung. Me? Just do what I say and read. Oh, okay. I'll just read it then. Hurry up and read. In the Lord's name, I read from the Bible, Book of Romans. For with the heart, man believes to righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made to salvation. There. Amen. I'm done. Mm-hmm. So, Sister Fung, we who believe in the Lord Jesus are already righteous because we believe. Exactly. <sighs> the Lord Jesus has already forgiven all our sins, no matter if we commit them in the past or in the future. The Lord Jesus has already forgiven them all. Amen. The Lord does not see us as sinners anymore. Our sins will no longer stop us from entering the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> That's right. My husband here has put it very well. It's simple. We can't let ourselves be constrained by sin. Honestly, so what if you told someone a little lie? Forget about those other people. Let's just talk about my husband. When he preaches, he brings people under his control. When speaking with our brothers and sisters, he lies all the time. At home, he acts like a tyrant, and sometimes he scolds me when he's in a bad mood. What? But then he kneels and he confesses all of his sins. Even without sin, he still sobs and cries out to God. What? So think if even someone like him can enter the kingdom of heaven, then what are you afraid of? Nothing, right? <laughs> <laughs> hey, why are you acting like I'm a tyrant at home? Why tell her all that? Well, I'm being honest. Isn't that right? You can't just say things like that. Oh, I just thought that this would make her see how strong your faith is. That way, she won't worry about not getting into the kingdom of heaven. Would it kill you to be quiet? 
actually kill you? It'd drive me crazy. Fine then. Just sit there, be polite, and keep your mouth busy. Well, I still wasn't wrong. I really regret bringing you with me. Making me look bad. I can't tell the truth? <laughs> Sister Fung, it's fine. Don't worry yourself. Honestly, just have faith that you'll get into the Kingdom of Heaven. <laughs> <laughs> now, Sister Fung, what my wife was trying to say just now was, the blood of the Lord Jesus is effective forever and forgives all our sins. That's right. And so, we can't let ourselves lose faith that we can enter the kingdom of heaven, huh? The Lord forgives all of our sins, that's true. But that certainly doesn't mean that we're holy or that we'll never sin again. The Lord never said that sinners will be able to enter the kingdom of heaven. The Lord Jesus said, Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever commits sin is the servant of sin, and the servant stays not in the house forever, but the Son stays ever. I feel I need to set Elder Wei straight. Elder Wei, hmm? it's true, our sins are forgiven, mm. but that doesn't mean we're holy, does it? It doesn't mean we won't ever sin again. Did the Lord say we could enter the kingdom of heaven if our sins are forgiven? Have you seen anyone who sins often enter the kingdom of heaven? Hey, I haven't really seen that. As of right now, we're clothed in our own guilt. We're covered in sin. God is holy, and people can't see God without being holy. How could the Lord let people like us, who can still sin, into the kingdom of heaven? Hey, that's actually a really good point. I mean, what about that Lee C in our church? He'll stand there, a big bag of stolen rice in his hand, even as he says, Thanks be to God, thanks be to God. Well, you know, if someone like him got into the kingdom of heaven, he would take all of heaven's gold, silver, and jewels right back to his own house. That's right. Never mind the kingdom of heaven. No one would want a person like that in their house. Well, true. <laughs> what do you know? Oh, look, I'm only being honest. Why interrupt me? The Lord Jesus is merciful and loving. Uh, one moment. Wait here. <sighs> Mrs. Wei. Yes? That coat Elder Wei is wearing looks very special, is it? Well, you've got a good eye. That coat is from an international fashion brand. It's a Pharisee limited edition. <laughs> and you know what? It's very warm indeed. <laughs> Pharisee limited edition? Yes. Sister Fung, the Apostle Paul said, Who shall lay anything to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifies. Who is he that condemns? And if by grace, then it is no more of works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. <laughs> The Lord Jesus' grace was given to us free of charge. The Lord doesn't look at our works. If he did that, could we even call it grace? The Lord's grace is what saves us, allowing us to enter the kingdom of heaven. <laughs> hey, I think I understand. <sighs> darling, darling, you know you're clever. You never plan to get into the kingdom of heaven through work and effort. You're simply... Relying on grace. Shush. You know what I think, Mr. Way? I think that you really ought to change your name to Mr. Too Easy. Relying what on are grace? You saying? Does that work? Stop talking about What me. do you think? Is that what God wants? No! 
Elder Wei. Yes? The Lord Jesus said, Not every one that said to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that does the will of my Father, which is in heaven. We can only enter the kingdom of heaven by practicing the Lord's word and carrying out God's will. Those are God's requirements. Yes, you are absolutely right. The work and labor I've done all these years for the Lord as well as the suffering and the prices I've paid. Haven't I carried out the will of the Heavenly Father? That's right. I know. As long as I keep it up, I'll enter the kingdom of heaven. Amen. <laughs> Elder Wei, you say that doing the will of the Heavenly Father is doing work. But I feel that's not right. Huh? The Lord Jesus said, Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, and in your name have cast out devils, and in your name done many wonderful works? And then will I profess to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you that work iniquity. Huh. <sighs> work iniquity? There's no doubt that those who preach and work in the Lord's name suffer and pay a price for it. So why does the Lord say they work iniquity and can't enter the kingdom of heaven? That's a good question. I just think that carrying out the Heavenly Father's will just isn't as simple as it seems. It means following the way of the Lord, practicing His word, loving God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and loving your neighbors as you love yourself. Only people like that can enter the kingdom of heaven. Do you all think that I'm right? Yes! What wonderful fellowship. You know, Super Paul, I think Sister Fung is right. Just labor and work won't get us into the kingdom of heaven. The Pharisees spread the gospel far and wide across the world. They worked harder and suffered more than us, right? But they didn't follow God's way. And in the end, they were condemned by the Lord all the same, weren't they? She's right, Elder Wei. The Pharisees didn't work and suffer in order to carry out God's will. They did it for their own status and for fame. Yeah, that's right. It's no wonder God said they worked iniquity. <laughs> you know, I think your views are ridiculous. It's like standing on the edge of a sword. You'll lose your balance. Silencio! Silencio? Well, now he's speaking in some dialect? It's no dialect. It's obviously Spanish. If I don't outsmart you, you won't be quiet. Showing off, obviously. Sit down. <sighs> Sister Fung. Brother Paul said, I have fought. A good fight. I have finished my course. I have... Kept the faith. From now on, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness. <laughs> now, all my years of work, suffering, and paying a price for the Lord. I did all of it because of what Paul said. I'm not wrong. I'll get into the kingdom of heaven. Right? Paul's words are a promise. <laughs> oh, boy. You know what I think? Huh? I think that your brain is stuck on the idea, huh? I think you're obsessed and blind. You're hopeless! Elder Wei, you're wrong. How am I wrong? The Lord Jesus said, Only those who carry out the will of the Heavenly Father can enter the kingdom of heaven. But Paul said that we can enter the kingdom and be rewarded through work for the Lord. Don't Paul's words conflict with the Lord Jesus? They don't work together. Now that... Hey, they really don't, huh? It's almost like Paul's words and the Lord Jesus' words are conflicting, don't you think? Yeah. The Lord Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. So... Is Paul the master of heaven, or is the Lord Jesus the master of heaven? The Lord Jesus, of course. Well then, 
Do the words of Paul have authority, or do the words of the Lord Jesus have authority? The Lord Jesus' words have authority. Then tell me, is it Paul or the Lord Jesus whose words can get you into the kingdom of heaven? Of course it's the words of the Lord Jesus that led there. Okay, so now, Paul's words and the Lord Jesus' words are conflicting. Whose side are you on? Uh, of course I'm on the Lord Jesus' side. Hey, then, hold on, hold on. I'm confused. Let me think. Oh, come on, husband. There's nothing to figure out. You're being dumb. You can't even figure out whether it's God's word or a man's that will get you into the kingdom of heaven. And you call yourself an elder. She's right. And you know what else, Wei Dafu, huh? You've made me waste years of my own life, too. You don't let me practice the Lord's word. I just suffer and work all day, sinning and resisting the Lord. Look at me. From my head to my toes, I'm covered in sin. How will I enter the kingdom of heaven? How? How will I enter the kingdom of heaven and be blessed now? Hey, hey, what do I do? Relax, don't worry. Let me try to explain. A few days ago, I went and heard a sermon, and I understand a bit more about this now. You do? The Lord Jesus prophesied, I have yet many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. However, when he, the Spirit of Truth, has come, he will guide you into all truth. The Spirit of Truth? The Bible also said, Ah, also, also said what? Said... This is driving me crazy. Oh, I remember. Who are kept by the power of God through faith to salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. I learned from these words in the Bible that the Lord may come to express more words in the last days. Really? And do work to completely purify and save man. As long as we can gain these kinds of truths, we can escape sin, be purified, and enter the kingdom of heaven. Well, thanks be to God. <sighs> wow, that's perfect. Darling, honestly, her fellowship makes things so much clearer. All this running around and doing work alone won't get us into the kingdom of heaven. Well, now we're covered in sin and still wanting to enter the kingdom of heaven? Honestly, we must be dreaming. That's right, Elder Wei. What? Work can't get us into the kingdom of heaven? So all the suffering I've endured all these years was in vain? <laughs> That's impossible. That's impossible. The Lord Jesus wouldn't abandon me. If I really can't enter the kingdom of heaven, I'll... I'll go argue it out with the Lord Jesus. Darling, <laughs> hold on. Where are you going? Wait what? for me. Wait, Wait for me. Huh? Uh -huh. Oh, huh? Elder Way, your sheepskin coat, your Pharisee coat.